Okay, hi guys, quick video for you regarding the uh, IBIS. On the new Sony uh, A7 Mark III, um, I did a review of this and I kind of said that the, um, the IBIS was below average, it's not brilliant, uh, which is true, uh, but I didn't really kind of demonstrate it and I think a few people might be interested in the difference between really, really good IBIS and average IBIS, basically. I mean, don't get me wrong, um, you know, it's a full frame sensor in this camera, it's much, much harder for them to get IBIS working on a great big sensor, something like the GH5, uh, it's got tiny little sensors, so it's much easier for them to get that to work, you know, and even, even the actual GH5 is a smaller sensor and a bigger body as well, so, you know, I'm not getting at the Sony for having bad IBIS, you know, it's just not surprising, but I just wanted to do a very quick video just to demonstrate that for you today. Uh, I was out getting some shots and what I did for a bit of fun, I've bolted, as you can see, I've bolted the GH5 and the Sony A7 Mark III together. Um, so they're absolutely lock solid and I've got a couple of um, handheld shots just to show you the real difference between really good IBIS and average IBIS. Now this has got a 50mm um, a Sigma lens and this has got 25mm uh, Olympus lens on it. Um, so the field of view is exactly the same. Uh, they're bolted together. I mean, technically, I was holding um, the cage down here, so probably the GH5 has a slightly harder job because any twinges, twi twitches in my hands are going to be sort of exaggerated at the top because I'm holding around the Sony. So the Sony's already got a slight advantage in terms of um, my test conditions. Uh, so anyway, let's have a look at the um, the footage, and you can sort of see for yourselves the difference. The difference between really good IBIS and average IBIS. So let's have a look. Okay, now this is handheld. Let's test out the IBIS, so they're both locked together. Let's look over at that boat there. See how well I can hold it. Now let's try a little shake. Okay, now I'm intentionally shaking it. I'm just holding it. Now let's try a walk. This is really rough ground, so this is a difficult walk. I'm walking sideways and over rough. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm walking over. Try a pan from my van. And then stop on this mast dead center. And I'll back up and try and keep that mast in shot. That's really hard. Okay, there's my abyss test. Yeah. Okay, it's just right one hand in, arm's length. <laughs> That's two cameras, arm's length. Let's try my left hand. Yeah, no way, but it's okay with that shake. Ooh, a bit of sunshine. Just holding it with two hands now. Okay, cool. 